The new GroupWise web solution continues to be improved. We are happy to announce three significant enhancements that are now available in the latest WebAcNG image. On Docker Hub, we are currently maintaining two distributions for the web solution. The main one is mfgroupwise slash web. This is used for full versioned releases. mfgroupwise slash webacng was used in the tech preview and is now used for early access or beta field test versions. The updates I'm covering today are available in that channel for now. Eventually, these fixes will be included in the main channel. If you want to use these new features, then pull mfgroupwise slash webac-ng. The first change I want to cover is the Remember Me feature. This fixes a security concern that was raised by our user community, and we are happy to have the fix implemented now. Here it is in action. When you hit the server with your browser, the credentials screen is presented, and now you will see the checkbox here for Keep Me Logged In. If you don't check the box, your session information is cleared as soon as you close the browser tab. You will need to enter your credentials to return to your mailbox. This prevents unintended access on a shared machine. If you do check the box, your entered credentials will be remembered and you will be returned to your mailbox immediately. Be careful with this option because you basically have to manually log out before you'll get prompted for a password again. The second major change for this release is a change to appointments. We've now added an invite option. This makes it much easier to include additional people to an existing event on your calendar. Just right click, invite, and add the user you want. That user will then receive notification of the meeting just like any other appointment. The third and final change is perhaps my favorite. Previously, email addresses in various locations were identified as links. However, clicking on one would open a new email in whatever default mail application was defined for your operating system. Yeah, that was a bit awkward since you're already inside of the mail app here. Now those email address links will open a new message within GroupWise Web, making it that much easier to create new messages. This works in every location you see an email address. For example, if there's an address in the signature of a message, you can use that to create a new message to the user. Thanks for watching. We hope these new features are helpful.